here at Venia, we like our men and women in the military. We like our police officers and our first responders. So help me welcome up Tiffany Powers. This is Tiffany. She is going into the United States Air Force. And I gave her a hard time about the Air Force last service, so I'm not gonna do it this service. And you know I was joking, my son's in the Air Force, so I love all branches of our armed forces, even the Coast Guard. <laughs> um, if you're not military, you gotta know, every branch razzes one another, it's just how it goes. But we all respect one another, we're so grateful. Uh, and I know that we as a church, we're so grateful for what you're about to do and serving our country in this way. And um, it, it takes a lot. It's, it's gonna be a difficult road ahead of you. And it, it truly is a sacrifice and you've got a lot of push-ups and a lot of sit-ups to do and a lot of running to do and a lot of pick it up and put it down and pick it up and put it down and pick it up and put it down. So. Um, you've, got, you've got some hard times, but you've got some great times ahead of you too, uh, as you know. And so we're just so grateful that you came up here and we as a church body, we can just pray over you. And I just want to encourage all of you to be praying for her. Uh, it truly is. It's a sacrifice. If, you, if you're not in the military or you don't have family members in the military, uh, believe me, it's a sacrifice. It's difficult. Uh, but it helps ensure that you and I can be in a place like this and have the freedom to just scream out the name of Jesus. It's that freedom we have because of men and women like you. And so if you guys would just extend your hands out as a sign of agreement and blessing and let's pray over our sister in Christ. Father in heaven, we are grateful uh, just once again for this place. We're grateful that we live in a country uh, that we can sing out songs of praise to you and believe in you and tell people about you and, and freely carry out the worship of you. Uh, and Lord, we recognize that it's because of men and women uh, like Tiffany here that have made sacrifices to keep our country safe. Uh, so as she's making this sacrifice, she's, she's stepping away from her family for a season, and, and Lord, that's difficult. Uh, she's stepping away to go through her basic training, and um, she's going to be she's going to be away, Lord. And I just pray that as she gets through those times that are difficult, where she feels like she just can't go on, uh, that it would be times like this that she would remember, uh, that she would know that she has a church, a church family whose hands are raised out, agreeing and blessing her, agreeing that your presence would be with her, agreeing that you would give her the strength the courage, the steadfastness to accomplish all that you have for her. And Lord, we just want to thank you in advance for what you're doing. We want to thank you for blessing her and giving her all of that, Lord. And so, Father, as she goes on to, to do what she's called to do, I pray that you would impress upon our hearts to remember this time, to pray for her, uh, that you would bring her to our remembrance daily, and that we would pray for her. Lord, thank you for what she's going to do. Lord, bless her as she does it. We pray this as a family, and we pray it in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Thank you.